Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. On today's feature, we're diving into TaskAid, which is a task management experience with a few gems hidden in the application. Now we're gonna dive into the features of this experience. We're also going to give you an idea of who it would best fit in terms of being able to use it every single day. We're gonna dive into the real-time collaboration functions as well as the video conferencing function which is embedded in the application. Now it's pretty impressive uh, in terms of its accessibility, in terms of an all-in-one workspace. So hopefully we can give you an outline of whether it's suitable for you in an everyday routine. So guys, without further ado, let's dive into TaskAid. So guys, as you may know the name, TaskAid is something I reviewed back in May 2017. And it's really grown it, since then. It's grown from this Chrome extension to what it is today, an actual task management experience. So we're actually seeing something that is almost dramatically different from what we did uh, two years ago, roughly. Now, as you can imagine, TaskAid has been working hard on adding new features, adding new experiences, and what I would say is it's definitely much more of a contender against other popular to-do list experiences uh, by actually providing a very simplistic experience. So I definitely recommend this just so that you guys can go away with something and see whether it's a best fit for you. This application is available on iOS, Android, web, Chrome, Firefox, PC, and Mac. This is the web version. We're going to be exploring the web tool first, and then we're going to be diving into the iOS tool, just giving you a bit of a tour around the application. Now you can find all of the downloads uh, available below, so you can find all of that, but we're really gonna look at this real-time collaboration application for tracking goals and tasks. So hopefully, it gives you a good idea of how you could potentially use it on a daily basis. Now, in terms of features, it's a simple task management application. You've got uh, a bit of a, more of a personal use with this one, I'd say, or a light social use. The reason why I say that is because once you create an area, you can start adding in new lists. And once you've added in a new list, you can start building it for yourself. You can either keep it blank or you can add one of their pre-existing templates. Now we'll dive back into the template side of stuff because that's a pretty oppressive experience. But when you're creating, you don't necessarily have to make it a list. You can make it uh, an actionable list with checklists or you could simply make it a bullet point list. It doesn't necessarily have to be a task manager. You could use this for meeting notes. You could use this for a bullet journal. There's really uh, an open plan with this application and that's what makes it quite exciting. Now, TaskAid itself is currently a free tool uh, and it's actually got a few things going for it, um, a, a lot actually going for it. And it's actually included in the free plan is unlimited lists and workspaces, unlimited collaborators, real-time editing, customization, video conferencing, unlimited file upload, due dates, comments, chat, cross-platform syncing, notifications, and all of the applications, which seems to be quite rare in a lot of these applications. Now, using TaskAid is really easy. You don't even have to have an account. You can actually continue as a guest, which is pretty impressive, something that many apps actually don't promote. They really just want you to sign up before you get started. So if you wanted to play around with this one and not commit to having an account and create one, you can do so. But if you do want to save your data naturally, you can sign up uh, via email or Google, which is quite accessible. Now, they do have a host of templates to get you started, uh, a real range of them actually, uh, everything from a task list, a basic task list, a weekly planner, a weekly task area, bullet journal, meeting notes, brainstorming, reading list, and many more projects focused as well. So you have got a few things to get you started, and that's definitely something that makes it really easy. There's no community templates at the moment, but I can imagine as it grows in popularity, they'll probably add something like this. Now, as you get started, you do have something called a dashboard, so you can go over to your dashboard and find your space where you can store all of your lists. You can also create new workspaces or join them. So if one of your friends has made a workspace for your team, uh, with a list or a couple of lists already in them, then you can access them. And the great thing is once you're in a workspace, you can see all of the most recently created lists that you have. You also have archived as well in case there are ones that have been created. Now, if you create a list outside of a workspace, you can add it to inbox 
and that can then be organized and sorted in, uh, into a different workspace later. You can simply move that, or you can star it to your starred list, which is very easy to access. Now, customization is something you can really get started with. You can actually change the background straight off. There are a host of backgrounds. I think they're imported from Unsplash. They look great, and they'll really make your account a lot more attractive. You've also got dark mode as well, which is a pretty easy to get on with experience if you're a big dark mode lover. Lover. Um, so definitely dive into that if you haven't yet. It's down available in the bottom left hand corner. Now once you create a brand new list it's really easy to share that list. I was actually quite surprised. You can copy the link and you can choose whether you want to, them to view it. So maybe you're just sharing a list of uh, tasks that you, you're, you're planning with a client and you just want to share it with them. Um, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, but if you want them to edit you can share that with them. And the great thing is as mentioning before they can access it as a guest so they don't necessarily have to actually uh, sign up to the experience they can start adding tasks straight away or notes whatever it is and the cool thing is it's real-time collaboration so you can actually see the other person interacting with the document in real time which again I would say is rare in task managers because you're almost creating a to-do list at the same time it's very uh, similar to the likes of Dropbox paper now, of course, that real-time collaboration is pretty accessible, and the great thing is, with your free account, you can share with unlimited collaborators, so you can literally have 50 people editing this one at once. Not that you would want to, but you can potentially have that, which is quite cool. Now, naturally, once you're in a list, it doesn't stop there. You can actually do a host of text formatting from changing the headers to adding bold and even highlighting with the color options they bring. But when you're creating a task or specifically a note and you want to add a due date to it, you can do so. And the application has notification reminders too. You can also add comments, uh, which appear on the right-hand side. And you can even add collaborators from here, which is very easy to do and invite people. And you can also add attachments or files, which is really easy. And surprisingly, it's something that they have unlimited, which many apps charge for. So that's very good. Now you can also mark tasks as important add them to a calendar, which is something that uh, a lot of people like doing. You can add it to either a Google or Yahoo calendar. And once you set that up, um, it will open up a web page and automatically create a link back to the task aid uh, task, which is very easy and it was surprisingly impressive. Now you can indent and unindent tasks as well as complete them so that you can have a tally of what you've actually got done. And naturally you can search within the task itself. Now, if you want to, you can set up list notifications, which again is part of the free plan. You can, add, you can either have email list notifications for a list. So for example, you can even watch for updates, anyone that's adding things or a specific mention of your name. That's something you can do during it. If you've got an account, you can mention people and also you can ignore them completely. But you can also do the same for mobile and that's not just limited to email updates. So that's really great. Now there's a real magic feature that I almost missed when I was setting this up is the ability to change views. Uh, I thought it was great in just list view. I think that's a really attractive experience. But board view, you can now get board view actually to section off the different areas that you're working on. So for example, in the today area, you could have important to do and notes and start being able to interact with all of those areas. And you can even have this area called action list, which really templatizes it to a table view, which gives you a bit more of a stricter uh, style of working. And, and for some people, this might be the perfect way to really assign and start you know, putting uh, due dates on tasks and add comments. Now they also have an experimental tree flow in beta, which allows you to see it, everything as like a mind map. But again, it's very a bit buggy naturally because it's in beta. It will take a bit of time to roll out. But when you're inside of a list, you can access starring. You can actually copy the list itself. So you can duplicate it essentially. You can move it, you can print it, and you can even present it. The presenting function is really good if you want to just go full screen and demonstrate what's in front of you to you and your team. So very simple and very easy to use. Now the templates are easy to use as well. And I would say if you want to just get starting and you want to skip past templates and you can use the blank list, that would be a great starting point. Now you're probably wondering, okay, the comments, you sort of browse past that. Naturally inside the comments area, 
You can collaborate by uploading folders, inviting people, and actually messaging people directly in there. You can add the likes of emoji. But the real magic is you can actually uh, chat in real time, which is pretty cool. And also, if you want to do a voice call or a video call, you can easily do that. Now, I was actually shocked that they added this, so I wanted to actually test it. I invited Joel to a call, and we just briefly chatted. So here's a little demonstration of how we actually used it. Good okay. God. Oh god, I got oh, carried well, away. Right, like it's recording now. No, I don't. I don't need a. I, I don't need an introduction because I'm already halfway through sort of the review. <laughs> <laughs> but the, I can't believe I completely. I didn't even press record. It's now recording, so we can just demonstrate it. Hey, hey, Joe. <laughs> I can't so as you can imagine, this is quite a strange experience because you've got a video conferencing experience inside of this application. It's all free and you can add unlimited collaborators. So that's a great opportunity for many people. Now, thanks to Joel for jumping on the call. You can follow Joel on Twitter if you like. Now, the team did mention on social media that the web version as of last month is running up to 50% faster on web and web edition struggled a little bit on offline mode for me, but I can imagine their native applications worked much better. Now, I'm really impressed at how well the synced work, sync works, and it's something that definitely is pretty impressive for this application. Now, a while ago, back in September, Taskade actually won the App of the Day award. I do remember this because it was at the same time Motorsport Manager 3 won it, and that is such a great application too. So it's, it's great to seeing it being recognized now this is what it looks like on iOS. It's very simple. In terms of its navigation, it's pretty much identical to what you have on the web version. And the great thing is it still works in the same real-time fashion. So if you're working on a list with another person, you can do that quite easily. And one thing I note as well is the text formatting is something you can still easily access and all the commenting functions as well. Now, in terms of pricing, you're probably wondering, okay, so what's the catch, Francesco? As I mentioned, it is free, and that's what's so strange about it. Now, you know me, I typically like a productivity application to have a paid plan. I don't, I, I feel sort of strange when a company doesn't have a paid plan, but as you can imagine, it's slowly becoming a fully fledged application, so they are working on a paid pro model, so that is probably coming soon. But again, what's included in the free version is pretty impressive. Now, you know what this reminds me of mostly is Sorted 3 and even Things 3 to some extent, but it goes a little bit of a step further. It actually embeds, I guess, what Notion is trying to embed in terms of a structural application uh, that tries to create your own workspace. And although the templates are limited at the moment and you pretty much can create, you know, you, you get started with what you've got, there's really something special about this application in terms of what it could be in the future. I definitely think community templates are something they need to go and create. And naturally, they just need to carry on doing what they're doing. It's seen, it seems to be pretty amazing what they've done in the last two years. So in my opinion, I'm pretty imp impressed by this application. So a couple of notes that I'd like to add is that uh, they have a few advisors as well, which probably reflects why this application is so impressive. Um, and naturally, of course, their team. They have uh, an ex-Facebooker, um, and also uh, Aaron Eber, Ilba, uh, I believe that pronunciation was right, who used to work on Google Wave and Google Docs, which might explain the real-time collaboration abilities and ability to start where you left off in comments. So that's something that uh, you can probably check out on their site in the About section. Now, another note is as well, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for large teams. I can't see a group of 100 using this, for example, just yet, but it's definitely something that I see a group of maybe up to 10 using for collaborating on documents. Joel mentioned that his team, his product development team, I believe it was, is actually using this application to share tasks and real-time collaborate with tasks. So it's something that is definitely a bonus for those sort of smaller teams. Now, in terms of uh, who I'd recommend this for, I would say it's great for personal use for students, highly recommend it for students, casual users, as well as freelancers too. This is, of course, naturally, if you're not looking for a dead serious fixed 
productivity workflow like Todoist or TickTick, and you don't necessarily want to follow something like G2D, I think Taskade is going to be a great solution for you. So guys, hopefully that was a nice review of Taskade for you. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. It'd be great to hear some of your opinions and thoughts. And as you can imagine, it'd be great to hear what you think of it in terms of rating out of 10. Pop that in the comments below because it'd be great to hear your opinions and whether you've used it before. Anyway, guys, a huge thank you for stopping by today. Huge thanks for Joel for jumping on and testing the video chatting functions with me. I am very happy that we got to catch up anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, a huge thank you for stopping by today. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.